What's up, it's your boy Dragon back on the tour and today's tour I'm gonna show you guys how to make a 2K22 live thumbnail, so let's straight into it. So the first thing I want to do is go to Photoshop, file, then new and pick 1280 by 720. After you pick this, you just want to go to Twitter, copy your image, and bring your screenshot. I click copy image, and then go ahead and hit control V. Alright, so once you do this, you just want to put the image like on um, to the correct place. So I'm probably gonna put mine over here. And once I find the right spot, and this thing I'm gonna do is cut out. Alright, so once you start cutting out, what you want to do is just basically go to the pen tool, and you can do that by hitting P on your keyboard. And you just want to trace the character or the my player and just go around, and when we get to the end, I'm going to show you what to do. So once you basically get to the end of cutting out of my player, just connect your dots, right click, then hit make selection. Make sure you got your feather radius on one, and then you just want to, you don't have to do this part right here, but once you get right there, just click on this button right here, so it'll cut it out. Next thing you can do is go on here with your little um, black brush, so you can kind of shape up the edges. I'm going to do that, I'm going to be back with y'all. Alright, so once you get done cutting it out, you want to right click, go to blender options, and then you want to go to inner shadow, and you can just copy what I'm doing. I put my distance down on it like that, and then up the size a little bit. And I'm gonna turn the opacity down on it, so I'm also so you just have something like this right here. All right, so once you do this, next thing you want to do is go to brightness contrast up here, create a clipping mask, and you want to open the brightness a lot more screenshot also. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is use this screenshot, just right click, copy image, then go over here, and then just hit Control V, and I'm gonna put this in the description also. If I don't, just hit me up. I'm gonna let you see it anyway. So. Next thing you want to do after you actually bring this in, go on here, turn the lightness down a little bit, probably like right there. Or you can turn it up. I just don't like mine looking like that. So after you do that with the lightness, what you can do is just go on here, make sure you're on the uh, black, and then you just want to do that right there. If you don't know what to do, I'll tell you, like I'll show you later on. So, But right now, what I'm going to do is bring in the text so you have a logo and add some animated lines. All right, so I'm just gonna go file, open, go to my fix, add the animated lines, and I'm putting that in the description also. Just hit control C, then come over here, and you just wanna hit control V, go to screen, and bring it out like so, until you get it to wherever you want it to be at. Next thing you wanna do after that is lock the layer. I wanna go up here, add like a black border, and just follow what I'm doing. Just come around with it like so. And yeah, once you do this, put it on soft light. Have about right there. Hit Control J, then put it on normal, and lower the opacity a lot when you put on normal. After you put on normal, go to the character also, and come at the bottom with dark like that. And you want to go to soft light again, and you just want to lower the opacity. All right. After this, next thing you want to do is go over here, and you want to add some vibrance and saturation. So just do it like that. And it's basically, yeah, just add vibrant saturation to it. So now what you want to do is create no layer above the player and pick the color white on your brush. And then you want to go like by his ears and add this little white dot, whatever. You just add right here, right here. And you want to go behind them and do the same thing. Or do something like that. And you can add overloads, overlay, I mean, to the back, really. And then hit Control J, put one on normal. And have it like that right there. Alright, so next thing I did was open up this cellular pad right here. And I got layer styles in here. Now, I'm going to give an I mean, alternative in the description for the layer styles. So, if I, like I said, if I don't put in the description, just hit me up on Twitter. Or if you can't get it like that, just hit me up on Twitter. And I'll give it to you. But I'm going to just use this. And say, the eight, I think the person name that uploaded the screenshot is Aiden. I'm pretty sure. So, I'm going to say Aiden is live. Just go back over here. Get the color red. But Aiden is live right here and i'm gonna show you what to do i'm just add this i ain't gonna skip through this party i'm gonna just show you how to do it live you want to have this right here and make sure like the well that's for me i make sure the bottom part is bigger than the one on top all the way it'll be something like that you just lower down with your arrow like so and then hold control grab both of them and you can obviously make it a little bit bigger by doing like that 
Now, if you want to, you can hold shift on like my player and stuff. Hold control, grab all this, and just move mobile a little bit. So it'd be like something like that. And you can get these, hold control on both of these, and make them probably this size right here. Next thing you do, you hit control E, or you hit control J, then hit control E and just make these not visible so you can have a copy of it. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to file, open, and I'm gonna go to my 2K logos and stuff, and I'm gonna get the 2K22 logo. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in the comment section two different ones you can use. I'm gonna show you the old one right now. It's this one right here, and I know a lot of people probably like use this one. I'm gonna just use this one, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. So I just come on um, the image. What I do, go to blend the options, then I go to scrope. And I put the stroke on white. So I have it basically like that. Alright, next thing you want to do is right click, rasterize layer, go to blend the options on it, and then you want to do drop shadow. So you just have it like this right here. And you make it smaller until it comes down on the image like so. And basically just want to have it like this. And you you don't have to add the drop shadow right away, but as if you do right click copy go like that and then hold control then hit control e on all of them click on this warp it and then go up here to art and add your art to it just like this right here and then after you do this we're gonna add drop shadow to it i'm going here drop shadow like that and then go to my player we're gonna add like a drop shadow on him also so it'll be something like this i ain't gonna make it too big though Make it come down. I right, should have a little opacity on a little bit. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is add a little live symbol right there, and I'm basically gonna be done with it. All right, so I'm just gonna get a live um, symbol off of a thumbnail I made. Hit Control C on this. Come over here and just hit Control V, and you can put it in the corner. I'm obviously gonna give this to y'all, and I'm gonna put this over the animated lines over here so it looks something like this right here. And you should have that. And this right here can lock these layers and last thing i do i know i said i'm done but i'm gonna add a sky background that's gonna be it for the thumbnail so what you want to do is just go over here select sky and it might only be available with certain people with photoshop but if you do have it you can just follow what i'm doing go over here select sky then hit control j and you can just take the um lisa clip mask off of this and have it like that and i'm gonna go get the sky and i'll be back what you want to do is just go on google type in sky and go to images and that's literally all you gotta do is just type in sky go to images just look for whatever image you want see if i want this one just right click copy your image come over here photoshop and then create a clip mask for it and you can just put it on the whole image like so and if you want to make everything a little bit brighter you can take this off add brightness and contrast and you can make the background brighter and then you go up here, add brightness and contrast over the whole image, and actually add brightness and contrast. Don't add that much brightness though, but basically something like that right there. And you can keep messing with it or whatever. But once you get done, you just want to hold like you want to go up here, hold shift, and basically group everything like I just did. Hit Control J, then hit Control E. Hit M on your keyboard, go to the marquee tool, hit Control J again. Then you want to right click, convert to smart object. And once you do this, just go to filter and camera raw filter. All right, so once you get in camera raw filter, like I say all the time, I could just go to one of my presets and add that to it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually show y'all me add my preset too. I just started doing last video, so I'm gonna just show y'all. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, and I know I ain't been putting y'all on, I'm probably gonna like have my texture high. If not, I'm gonna might even max out my texture. I usually don't max out my texture, but just have some texture on there. Next thing you wanna do is add some contrast to your image, highlights. And you don't really have to mess with the shadows personally. Your whites, you can mess with. It's just going to make the image brighter. Your blacks, you can mess with that also. And yeah, I probably have something like that. I ain't going to mess with no clarity or none of that stuff. Grain, you can put it on 7 if you want. And it's pretty much that for that. Some people mess with temperature also, but I'm probably not going to mess with temperature on this. And just simply hit OK. And to be honest, I'm probably not even going to do magic bullet effects on this thumbnail. I could do topaz layout though. So just go to topaz layout if you want to do that. Add mild details, lower the details a little bit. That's if you want to do that. And keep it like that. All right, so after you do this, next thing you do, hit Control J, go to filter, then blur, gaussian blur, like so. And then lighter color. 
and you can just put on like 14 that's what nobody use for all my thumbnails i don't go past 14 but i'm gonna show y'all how to do it if i did it for myself all right so what i'm gonna do go to camera off filter first thing i'm gonna do then after this what i do all the time just go number 57 but this time i'm gonna add a little bit more texture on it when i use the number so add some more texture come up in here and it look like this and personally like sometimes i don't be feeling the um like that all the time so you just want to do it your own way if you do get that it's up to you really but that's pretty much what i'm gonna do and then just go to topaz layout topaz just my details and then have something like this and then go up here be on my keyboard and just um basically select the colors and keep placing them if you need to know how to do this just let me know because i ain't really gonna explain it that much right now but set it to screen lower the opacity then probably go up here add some brightness and stuff so i mean brightness and saturation and it's pretty much how i make a live thumbnail if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe being boy dragon peace out